It's my new favorite Bieber song. Have you heard his new album? Have you heard his Tiny Desk? Yeah, it's great. Have this you heard Tiny Desk is great? Oh yes, yeah. this was on a. This, have you actually watched Tiny Desk? Yes. Well, this was on it. You would have known that if you'd actually watched it. I don't comprehend. Great, now we're demonetized. <laughs> It's a dipper. We know what Corey thinks about dippers. Dippa! <laughs> Do you wish you could delete any of the beers that you had last night? You sound so hungover. Today. I'm proud of it. I've never heard you sound so slow. You're usually such an upbeat. Sometimes, uh, you know, you drink seven to eight tall dippers. What's a dippa? Double, Dippin dots? double IPA. You call them dippas now? That's what the. Eight <laughs> Florida man, double India pale ale, 8.5%. 80 IBUs. Dude, welcome to the Sunshine State. This is Florida Man. This is a newer uh, Cigar City beer that I haven't had, and uh, it is hopified. Take a look at the rest of the. It's like I saw you read the sign. There's also trailer parks. On fire. Trailers, on fire. On fire trailers and an alligator splitting a beer can. A tall boy, by the way. Yep. In his mouth. Mm -hmm. I respect this entire can. Did you know that when I lived in Florida, you can't buy 40 ounces, only 24 ounce cans. You recently, either you recently said that or I heard that on the internet, the World Wide Web once. Florida man tries to buy 40 ounce uh, bottle like he did growing up in Detroit and couldn't and cried himself to sleep with wow. a 24 ounce of Bud Light Chilada. Caught on camera in Florida. That was a man in swim trunks who appeared to fall out of the sky and onto a parked car at a dealership. Employees noticed the car was dented. But this is pretty good. Like as far as dippers go, <laughs> I'm a big fan. Also, you know what I'm a big fan of? I'm a big fan of our new merch. Woo! -hoo! And uh, we got this new pint glass. We only bought like Honestly, two, three dozen of them. So if you want one, I mean, get that credit card ready. <laughs> we'll be standing by. This is the new number six with cheese, 16 ounce pint glass. And then I got the new shirt on. Mm. Makes the titties look nice. Yeah, this is a Corey design. Or it looks very nice. Or breasts, if you're Sean. This is on my left breast. Corey designed this design that's on my left breast. Yeah, I actually designed that with your breasts in mind. You know what I thought? <laughs> Shut up. That's a huge you know what I kind of like about this new design on my blast? What's that? It's kind of like a Carmen San Diego map. You know, you kind of gotta, you gotta go to all parts of the world to figure it out. Number six with cheese. I don't get that reference, but I hope somebody does. <laughs> Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Watch your back. Nobody will. Do you like dippas or are you triggered right now? I think there is a time and a place where I will like this, mm -hmm. but I need, I desperately need to take a break from hops. Mm -hmm. So right now I'm not caring for it, but I know I don't mind hops. You have to, to deal with it. <laughs> so that was all set up for that. <laughs> and what are we eating today? We've got Stouffer's Classic Lasagna Bites. These are brand new according to the box of that big yellow sign right there on the box. Uh, and what they are is crispy breaded stuffed with meat sauce and Italian style herbs, mozzarella cheese and noodles. Noodles, right? What? <laughs> the world was asking for them. They, they put the noodles in there. I just am so fascinated by product innovation teams at big companies. Like, did someone just get stoned on a Wednesday night and then came into work on a Thursday and was like, I got an idea and I have the uh, wherewithal to do it. And they made these, like this is a thing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb here okay. and I'm gonna ask for a little help from the commenters. I wonder, and there is a trigger word in this that makes me wonder that, mm -hmm. whether or not this is something that is a part of some cultures grandmother's recipe. No way, no way. That there's an Italian grandma out there who's like, oh yeah, she makes lasagna balls. And the reason is, classic lasagna bites. What makes something classic? Generally grandma. somebody, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So are they, and they're saying it's new, so it's not classic because Stouffer's made it. <laughs> like yeah. in the 80s and yeah. it's been around. Right. It's, it's classic because it comes down from family lineage. Now you, a human potato, <laughs> probably isn't hey man, who you. Probably isn't coming from a, a lineage right. that is making lasagna bites. No, we're not. You know what I mean? Right, I so am a human potato. Maybe there's some people from, I don't know, New Jersey, who have Italian grandparents 
that right. had created lasagna bites. People right. in the comments, mm -hmm. either A, answer whether or not that's true, or B, come at me for saying that everyone who lives in New Jersey is Italian. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Make also, get out of Trenton. Sorry I'm late, fellas. I was at my Gumad's place. We just finished up dinner. We had some raviolis and some rigatonis and some rice -a -ronis. Forget about it! I just think all people from New Jersey live in Trenton. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one big city. It's one city. All that matters in this video is whether or not we like these. That's true. For the people that comment, you never said the instructions. This isn't a cooking channel. Uh, how long did you put these in the air fryer and for what temp? Uh, air fryer, 380, 10 minutes with a flip at five. Boom, there you go. All right, Stouffer's lasagna bites, cheers. Cheers. These are pretty delicious. They're delightful. I love that there's noodles in this. Like, that's so funny. I like deep fried Italian food. We have deep fried lasagna toasted ravioli from, from Labriola. Labriola, which was Dan Hunt. Dan Hunt, which was unbelievable. They were great. And now I see toasted ravioli all over the place. It's, it's so good. Once I like my brain locked into it, vroom, now I see them everywhere. Mm, mm, mm. These would be, you know, this would be really Midwest to me. These would be really good with ranch. Bro, I have marinara sauce too that I was thinking about dipping them in. Can you, where is it? Why is it not on the table? What's wrong with you? Where are you from? What happened to you? They also had, what was the other flavor they had? Like a bacon macaroni and cheese or oh, something? Oh yeah, it was like a white cheddar bacon, yeah. something like that. So if you guys want to see us review the other flavor that our Jewel Osco had, let us know. Maybe they have other flavors too. We just saw that. Mmm. Man, I've really come a long way on a marinara sauce. It's become like a new favorite of mine. This is really damn good with the marinara sauce. Ooh, yeah, what brand is that? Oh, that's good. Garlic and oregano, nice job. Right. You guys ever had muddy? <laughs> Marinara on like a fried Italian food is nuts. Dude, there's no beat in it. Mm-hmm. How is that? My mouth's on fire. I slammed all mine. Oh my god, you did. Hey, I'll join you. Our manager, Patrick Welby, he got the, the hotter sixer sauce finally. And I go, dude, how do you like it? You never said anything. <laughs> I made the mistake of putting about a third of the bottle on my breakfast burrito and it ruined, ruined me. <laughs> yes! Just, tri Pat just okay. tricked you. Just mm -hmm. fooled you. Gave you five, gave me four, my grand scheme to fatten you up, so I'm the best looking person on the show. That is going into effect. Okay. That's I said, Fatty, gotta, gotta beef up. That's coming I'm out. trying to be the good looking one with one single chin. That's coming. All right. I was gonna make a joke about how Are this Are you still out hungry? I can make some more if you want. Yeah. Hey man, do you have any lard? <laughs> if I die, don't let him plan my funeral. A lot Dude, of drinking. It'd be a sick and party. No, no one will even be talking sick. about me. <laughs> That is true. There's just like a picture of me, like a grainy photo off Facebook, and then a keg. Yeah, I take you to taxidermist. Get you stuffed up all. What would you stuff me with? Heisman pose. Oh, uh, what with? Yeah. What would the substance be to stuff me up? Uh, probably a healthy mix of ramen and uh, <laughs> and mashed potatoes. Okay. You'd just be doing the Heisman pose. Uh huh. And you'd be holding a Chipotle burrito. <laughs> oh! Damn you, Roger! Damn it! Damn you! Before we go ahead and thumbs up or thumbs down the brand new lasagna bites from Stouffer's, let's do a shout out. Let's do it. Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out, Patreon shout out. This week and this week only, patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese allowed access for people to buy the brand new Corey Carmen San Diego N6WC shirt and the pint glass, which I'm not gonna lie to you, we're filming this before that week, so I, who knows, man, these might be sold out. Yeah, and there's only what three days left to get. Yeah, really so accurate. Monday, all of a sudden, it opens to the the cesspool that is our fan base. No, we love those people. But like, so rather than a shirt size being sold out, because what some of these, I, there's only four or five sizes. I think we only ordered. Did we only order thirty two? Something or so like that. Something total. nuts. We're yeah, only we ordering order what we can afford. Okay. And so if you want this shirt, which is the brightest shirt we've made, it's beautiful. Uh, you know, Carmen, you get it. Um, Patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Everybody on Patreon gets access to the merch early this week. So um, should we go ahead and say two names of people that bought? Patreon shout out number one goes to Miss Brianna Gasser. Woohoo! Hey, relax, How bro. You skunk it out. Oh. <laughs> she loves me. <laughs> Cool, he invited his girlfriend to the video shoot. Why are you so moody, bro? I know you need a nap, just relax for a second. Brianna Gasser, a very, very dear friend of mine. I went to high school with her brother. 
Uh, her older brother used to bully me. Her oldest brother got me drunk when I was underage at his house all the time. And as a collective family, they disappointed their mother when they beat someone up in the church parking lot on Mother's Day when they asked them to come to church. That was her, for Mother's Day all I want you to do is come to church. And then all her boys beat somebody up in the parking lot and a police officer came down the church aisle in the middle of mass and said to the priest, and the priest had to say, can the people who were involved in the incident out in the parking lot please go outside? And the gasser boys had to all get up and go walk, walk down the church aisle and go outside. What? Dude, Toledo masses are nuts. <laughs> Do you need to call the cops? <laughs> but Brianna Gasser, um, she was maybe not the youngest, but one of the youngest girls. I think she was a freshman when I was a senior and I love the hell out of her. And she supports us at $1 a month and we appreciate you. And uh, even with our new tiers, you're grandfathered in, so you still get to be a part of all the early access and whatnot. Yeah. So I hope you're enjoying it, Brianna. I hope you are having a wonderful marriage and maybe being a mom. I, I follow along on Facebook a little bit, so if I'm wrong, please don't be offended. Yeah, this is one of those things, it's almost like in mass when they'd have that large stick with the basket on the end yeah, of it. Yeah, the picnic basket. That's kind of what Patreon is. Yeah. Here, put your money in the basket, you Christians. Which means you don't have the faith of God. Yeah, yes I do. God has removed the venom from my blood. Take that with a grain of salt. Patreon shout out name number two, Evil Ernie. Which I'm assuming is like the demonic version of Bert and Ernie. Uh, five bucks a month. Evil Ernie, thank you so much for donating to the show. We very, very, very much appreciate you. Dude, money buys the Stouffer's lasagna bites, so we can't. Thank you. It's a mess over here today. Patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese websites. All right, moment of truth. Let's get out of here. You guys want to get on with your Friday. You got drinking and hanging to do. Uh, Eric McCluskey, drumo, please, sir. Thank you, a resident drummer. Uh, thumbs up or thumbs down whether or not you liked, you enjoyed. You think the Sixers should spend their money on these, dude. Look at them. Should you buy them? We'll let you know. Ho! Oh! oh! Wow, the double boy. Explain yourself. Let me go I love this. Yes, sir. These just cracked my top 10. Wow, that's impressive. These are now in my top 10 of favorite frozen foods that you'll be able to find in your frozen food aisle. Because Stouffer's is everywhere, dude, I was skeptical and now I am reborn. I'm like just a ginger floating around just telling people about the gospel of Stouffer's. Yeah, you just got baptized in the house of Stouffer's. Welcome. Uh, thank you so much. Here's a little bit of, it's not water, it's marinara sauce that was blessed by um, King Corey. Uh, <laughs> no, Chef Bordy. Oh, my bad. Uh, buy those. Those are great. Those are fantastic. The breading on there crisped up so perfectly in the air fryer. I cannot swear on these in the microwave. I would say if you have a choice between microwave and baking, I would definitely go baking just yeah. to get the crispiness. Always that was bake them. Way, way a big part of why these were so delicious was the crispy breading on there. Gata gata. Uh, also, the insides were pretty tasty. It didn't taste as like fake and processed. Exactly. As, exactly. As, uh, pizza rolls. Right. With the imitation With everything. With the imitation everything, it felt like more real ingredients. Mm -hmm. That might not be true. That might have been all processed But it stuff. still tastes like it. But they did a damn good job with it. So yeah. I think they just did a fantastic job all mm -hmm. in all. I like the crispiness and the insides were really good. I think that's definitely a buy. I'm, I'm way with you on that. I agree. And shout out to Riboflavin. Guys, let us know if you've had the new Stouffer's line of these little bites. Uh, if there's any others than these and like the white cheddar, bacon, mac, whatever ones, maybe we'll get those in the future. And uh, Stouffer's, nice job, dude. Much better than your mac and cheese. People love it. I tend to think the craft is better. Sure! I'll have a drink. Florida man. <laughs>